Hello there everybody and welcome to this tutorial by San Jose Options. In today's lesson we're going to be looking at the iron condor. The condor is extremely popular and I know there's probably a million videos already on YouTube about this technique. However, in today's lesson we're going to cover some of the more advanced terminology related to the condor Specifically, we're going to talk about some of the higher order Greeks and how they relate to this trade. We'll cover some of the basics as well. Uh, first thing we'd like to talk about is the Greek Vega. So this trade has a negative Vega position. That means as volatility increases, we'll see the profit line drop down and we'll have an immediate loss on the trade. As the volatility drops down, you'll see this type of reaction where you'll experience a profit on the trade if you stay within this specified range. So that's how the Vega position relates uh, to the condor Again, if you're not familiar with Vega, it represents the profit and loss on the trade relative to the changes in volatility. Next, we'll talk about a higher order Greek behind the Vega position. The condor has a positive Vama. Again, what's your Vama? Your Vama represents how your Vega position is going to change relative to those changes in volatility. In this case, with a positive VAMA, as your volatility increases, then your VEGA increases. As your volatility drops, your VEGA position becomes more negative. So, a positive VAMA actually is a position of your VEGA, a derivative of that VEGA, and a positive VAMA can actually help your Vega position dynamically follow along the volatility. So it's beneficial to have a positive VAMA. This trade has that positive VAMA, but the negative VAMA is still very strong. So even though you may have a positive VAMA in this case, as the volatility increases, the VAMA is not strong enough to prevent uh, the trade from losing from the negative Vega position. So as I increase volatility, we still have a, a loss even though uh, the VAMA in this case is positive. Next I'll talk about another higher order Greek called Vanna. So your Vanna represents how your Vega position is going to change as the underlying product moves around. So this trade actually has a negative Vanna. Now the negative Vanna is actually another beneficial attribute to have in a trade because as the underlying product drops the volatility typically rises. There's an inverse correlation between price moves and volatility. These correlations are extremely high. Um, they actually achieve a 100% correlation when the, the moves are large for most products. So on the other side, as the product moves up, typically the volatility will drop. So let me say that again, as the, as the product price moves this way, then your volatility rises almost all the time. And then as you go to the right, the volatility drops almost all the time. And this is true for large moves like half a percent, one percent, two percent. If the underlying moves in a smaller range, then the correlations are a little bit lower, but they overall they're typically over 80 percent for most products. Okay, so your Vanna position when it's negative, what that means is as the market goes to the left or your underlying product moves to the left, 
then again your volatility will rise. If you have a negative vanna, then you have a negative direction and you multiply that by the negative vanna and so your vega becomes more positive. Again, the vanna represents how your vega is going to change relative to the price moving. So as you go this way with the negative vanna, then your vega becomes more positive. As you go this direction, then your vega becomes more negative. So the directional moves, to summarize, your directional moves in this with this type of trade, then the vanna position actually helps the vega position out a little bit. As we go this way, it becomes more positive. As we go this way, it becomes more negative. Another Greek we can talk about is your veta position or your d vega d time. As you go through time in the condor, then the overall trade's vega position increases. So over time, it becomes more positive vega. Again, this could be beneficial or detrimental to the trade depending on what happens long term with volatility. So again, it's it's a day by day change. So it's not something that the beta position doesn't just impact the condor and change strongly by the minute. It's uh, it's timed. So as you go through time with the trade, then that vega position increases. There's another higher order Greek called charm. Charm in this case is actually working against you. So as you're over here, your charm becomes more positive. So the angle here, and again, your charm is how your delta changes over time. So as we go through time in the trade, as you can see, then this angle over here becomes steeper. And same with on this side. So either, either location that you're at, whether you're over here or over here, the delta shifts against you. So that's one of the problems with the trade. Over time, it becomes riskier and riskier, and the charm is designed uh, poorly in this trade so that your delta is constantly moving against you. Uh, theta. Most of us know theta, and again, your theta is going to dictate how much the trade can make daily from all of the options uh, decaying in the trade. This one has a positive theta, so as you do go through time, then the theta element of the trade uh, benefits the trade. However, I would like to point out that it actually has a, a very poor decay rate ratio of less than one and decay rate ratio is a trademark of our company San Jose Options. Now what this means is that your long contracts are actually decaying much faster than your short contracts. So even though the trade has a positive theta, it has a very poorly designed theta because your long contracts, which are essentially your hedge and your protection for this trade, they're decaying at a faster rate than your short contracts. So positive theta, but a very poorly designed theta, and it has a, a very poor decay rate ratio. So that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you learned a couple new things, and hopefully it wasn't the same exact iron condor tutorial that's out there. Uh, for more information, please visit sjoptions.com. That's www.sjoptions.com the experts on higher order Greeks and advanced option trading. Thank you very much.